you go to a party and you get there and everyone seems to be talking and having a really good time and you're wondering whether or not you have any food in your teeth or whether or not there's something on your face or whether or not your hair is right or whether or not you said something the wrong way whether or not you're turning red people also experience this a lot with public speaking and it's not just about learning to clamp your level of stress it's also about how much you're exteroceptin how much you're out of your head they call it but how much you're focused on the events around you versus the events inside you so here's a small test to check whether you are more introspective or extrospective what you need to do is just find a comfortable position to sit in it can be a couch it can be a chair or anything else just relax your body and mind you don't need to control your breaths just breathe normally now slowly close your eyes and think about your body think about your hands which are softly touching the arms of the chair and your butt which is sitting on the chair concentrate on your breathing your lungs which is expanding and contracting think about your stomach is it full or empty now concentrate on your heartbeat Okay, now slowly open your eyes. And now for the next part of this exercise. Bring your attention to any object in your room. Now remember that object has to be near around 20% of your vision. That object can be a water bottle on a table or a photo frame on the wall. Concentrate on that object with both your eyes and ears and give it a few seconds. So, how did you perform in both of the tests? Which one was easier for you? Being introspective or extrospective? Comment down below. Now let's understand the major reason behind why someone is more introspective or extrospective and how it shapes our lives. So how much your the outside environment disrupts your internal environment has everything to do with this balance of interoception and exteroception and it very likely has roots in whether or not you were secure attached or insecure attached disorganized or ambivalent as a baby now, of course you can't travel back in time and know but there are some hints as to what kind of emotionality each of us has by examining two periods of development one is adolescence and puberty and the other is adulthood it's going to differ across the day it's going to differ across the lifetime it's certainly going to differ according to whatever it is that you're engaged in but early in development you start off with this interoceptive bias you are starting to develop expectations predictions about how the outside world is going to work and you are trying to figure out the reliability of outside events and people and where things are reliable when people are reliable we are able to give up more of our interoception there's literally trust that our interoceptive needs our internal needs will be met through bonds and actions of others if you want to be effective in the world effective being in quotes it is useful when in very dynamic environments especially social environments to have a lot of your attention focused outward as opposed to trying to pay attention to whether or not you're saying things correctly or the timbre of your own voice that is more or less destructive for the ability to engage socially if you found this video useful make sure to like share and subscribe it really helps me to stay motivated until then see you later